into the game with a nine and seven record. Bellarica comes in with a three and what record, Mickey? Do you know? We've got it here. Hang on just a second. Mickey's going to give us that record there. Check Villarica has a 5-7 and seven on the region with 14-9 and nine on the season. South Auden High School comes in with 7-6 and six on the region with a 16-7 and seven on the, uh, the season. Now leading this 5-8 five, five South group is Lithia Springs with 11-1 in the region. Hiram 8-5. New Manchester seven and five, then South Paulding seven and five, six, Villarica five and seven. On the north side of this region, we get Altoona coming in tonight at thirteen and zero. They play East Paulding at East Paulding tonight. Paulding County High School seven and six, Woodland five and eight, Rome four and nine, East Paulding's three and ten, and North Paulding zero and thirteen. All right, well, we're getting ready to start here. Uh, you said that South Paulden had lost seven games all season, and six of them were in the region. So they're, they're, all their losses coming in the region play, they won everything else they played. They play Rock Mart tomorrow night at Rock Mart High School. It'll be the last game of the season for the South Paulden Spartans. Villa Rica travels to Hiram on the 5th to finish out the season for them. Uh, we're getting ready to introduce the starting lineup for Villarica and South Paulden. Uh -oh, we're going to have to take the time anthem for the first. national anthem and the presented by the JROTC, which is Army here at the South Paulden High School. We'll have a moment of silence for the presentation of the colors and the anthem. This finishes off, Jack, as the, as the protocol has it. We should continue standing until the until the flags have left the, in this case, the court, either the field or the court. Again, this is the JROTC Army here at South Paulding High School has presented the colors. Uh, each of our JROTC programs are award-winning, Jack. That's uh, each time they go to competition, they come they come back with the trophies and the plaques. And uh, it, we were fortunate in this county. It's one of few counties that, that every one of our high schools has a JROTC program. It's an awesome program. I, uh, I really think it's pretty good. Okay, we're going to give the starting lineups now, Mickey. Marcus Ellum is first. Miller, I'm sorry, that's Miller, number three. Number ten, Mims. Number 12, Rodney Hill. Number 14, Dorsey. Number 25. 21, Kevin Bonds. Oh, 21, Bonds. Bonds. So is that a baseball number? Is that what, what, What's Bonds on the baseball? Uh, I think he's, I don't know. That's the, All right, here's the starting lineup for the South Paul and Spartans. Arterius Love first. Now, number 22 actually came out on Villarica, not 21. Number three, Jamal Williams. Number three, Williams. This is South's last home game. 
number 10, Basin. Number 12, James Maxwell. Number 12, James Maxwell. As he supports his nose guard. He got his nose broke in the game two weeks ago. Number 24, uh, Ty Foster. Ty Foster. I don't think that's right. No, it's something Foster, but it's not. Ty Hill. You're looking at Villarica. Oops, sorry. That's all right. Number 24 is T.J. Foster. T.J. Foster. Yeah. So starting lineups tonight are number – can you hear me? I'm hearing you through my other ears, so we're fine. Okay. Number two, Love. Number three, Williams. Number 10, Mason. Number 12, Maxwell. And number 24, Foster. Number 14, jumping for Villarica. That's Dorsey against number two, Love. Miller Ricker controls the basketball, Mickey. Here we go. Yeah, number three, Miller brings across half court. He's looking at the offense, comes off of the screen, throws out wide on the right-hand side, throws it back up to Mims at the top of the key, gets the ball back to Miller on the right-hand side, outside the key on the right-hand, right-hand side of the court. Setting up, throws clear across court over to 12, who throws it back to the top of the key. Ball stolen by Jamal Williams, who goes in for a layup, misses the layup. Rebound by number 12, Rodney Hill, Villarica. Villarica's got it back on their side of the court. Cross court pass to 12. 12 shoots, misses. Balls, balls rebounded by Love. Love ends up with a jump ball with number 14, uh, Dorsey. From Villarica. South Paulding's ball uh, right here. South Paulding got the first shot down there with a layup wide open and missed it, Mickey, so you can't do that and win basketball games. Into number 10, Basin. Basin to number 3, Williams. Williams gets it taken away by by Miller. Miller steals the ball. He's got the ball, bringing it back down court. Stops at the top of the key. Throws inside. Ball's back to him. He puts up a long three-point off the back of the rim. Rebounded by 24. Foster. Foster. For South Paulding. Williams on the left side back to Basin. Basin across the, the ball. Uh, Williams. Williams with the ball out front. <clears throat> Williams looks for TJ Foster back to Love. Williams. Williams with the ball out front. Number two getting ready to set a pick. Uh, down to number two. Love. Love shoots. Misses. Villarica number 12 rebounds. Heel. Hill gets the ball back to number three, Miller. Miller out front. Miller calls his play. He now moves to the left-hand side, comes off of a screen for the Mims and set, throws out to 21. Bonds at the free throw line, throws down on the right-hand side to 14. He tries to drive, but the ball stolen by Love. Love comes up court. He loses the ball. Villarica pass, steals it, throws back off to Mims. This quick moving game on this one. Come back up and then Miller now has the ball across half court for Villarica. He drives back in, comes baseline, throw, tries to throw across the baseline. Stolen by Paul, uh, South Pauling. Number two, Love picks up, throws for three, misses off the front of the rim. Villarica rebounds, throws back to Miller. Miller comes across half court for Villarica, stops three, throws out right wide to the left-hand side. Ball's back to Miller now at the top of the key. He's looking, trying to give the offense time to set up. Instead, he comes off of a pick, picks up, throws in behind. Number 12 has trouble. Rodney Hill control the ball, throws it back to Miller. Miller pulls up at half court, throws, uh, correction, three throw line, throws out to, to Rodney Hill. Rodney Hill shoots, misses. There's now a scramble on the ground for the ball. We finally come up with a jump ball. The Villarica's ball, Mickey. 5.07 to go here. No score. Uh, Villarica and Sao Paulo are missing a lot of shots. Villarica didn't get the rebounds that time, but they couldn't get it put back in. So. Hughes comes in for Villarica. And we have, uh, let's see, Hatchet and uh, who's that? Roberts. Jordan Roberts coming in for South Paulo. So Villarica's ball. Villarica has it in, comes back out to Hughes. Hughes dribbles, throws to the top of the key back over to Miller. Miller's trying to set the offense for Villarica. 
Goes into the free throw line. Back out outside to a triangle. Back to Miller. Miller throws the three points off the side. Villarica comes down with the offensive rebound. But when we get a foul, what I believe is on 24, <coughs> T.J. Foster. That'll be his first, team first. So we played three minutes and 13 seconds, and it'll be Villarica's ball under their own basket here. Mims to throw, or Miller to throw the ball in, throws it in to number 10. Mims. Mims dribbles around out front to number 12. Hill, Hill over to number three. Back over to Miller. Miller's looking set it, throws it inside to Hughes. Hughes turns, tries to drive. He loses the ball, comes off of a South Paulding. South Paulding foot stays to Villarica. Villarica's ball under their basket. Taking it close to the far left, uh, to the left-hand sideline. Villarica has the ball, throws it back clear down court to Miller. Miller has the ball, bringing it back up to half court. He slows the ball down at half court. He's just now crossing. Come up trying to set the offense. Throws out wide to, to Mims. Mims throws in the middle to Hughes, who puts it on the ground. Drives, takes a shot, and he comes off the side of the rim. No shot. We come up with a jump, come up with a jump ball between 24, T.J. Foster, and Rodney Hill. It's going to be South Paulding ball. Bill Rick is coming out with a with a press. It looks like it'll be a man to man. A couple of screens works well. 23. Jordan Roberts gets the ball, takes the cross half court. Throws wide, high. Villarica comes down with a steal. Number 22, Hughes has. He drives in, puts it in for two. First basket made, Nikki, with four minutes gone in the first quarter. Here is two to nothing. Villarica across to number 23, Roberts. Roberts looks to throw it, passes to number four. Hackett, Hackett puts it in, ties the game two to two. In the 3.43. Fast moving game. Here comes Villarica back, back the other way. Call a charge that time on uh, number 22. That was uh, Hughes fouled him on a charge. So it'll be their, their first foul. Uh, now he went to have the ball. The ball was cleanly blocked, but then with the other or South Paul and 24 was set set in position. T.J. Foster, and when he, uh, he came down and caught him with a charge foul after he shot. South Paulin has the ball low, throws it in to gets the ball thrown right back to him as he throws it in. He's, they're breaking the press. Three, four passes broke the press. Comes back over into to Williams, Jamal Williams' hands. He drives the passes it off to Hatchet. Hatchet drives in for the next two. He owns all four for South Paulin so far this game. Miller has it for Villarica come across half court. Uh, South Paulin met him with a with a press two. Comes out wide to number twelve. Rodney Hill, who puts it in for three. Five to four, Villarica, South Paulding, trying to break the press. They break it, Mickey, down in the corner. A wild throw, Villarica steals the ball, comes back into Hughes. Hughes takes it for an easy layup. South Paulding has the ball, number three, Williams drives. Tries to throw it behind his back and loses it. Number ten, uh, Bison wasn't ready. Coach Davis has given him instructions to slow down. He replaces, bring Maxwell in, and takes uh, Bateson out, C.J. Bateson out. Miller with Villarica has the ball. He's coming up the right-hand side slow and deliberate. He's watching to see where the press now. He breaks, drives, throws in hard to Hughes. Hughes puts it on the ground, then goes up to shoot, and he has a foul coming down that's number two. Number 12, they call it Maxwell. Call it on Maxwell, that's his first, team second. Hughes will go to the free throw line for two. Hughes has the ball, he does his his ritual. He's got two bounce, two spins, puts the ball in the air. It bounces around the rim and goes in. Seven to four with 2.35 to go here on 2.78 to mix. Billerick and Wildcats against the South Alden Spartans. He shoots the second one, misses. Uh, Love comes down with the ball, throws it down wide to Williams. Williams. William comes up and shoots, misses. Comes up to Villarica ball as it goes out of bounds. Hackett knocks it off of a Villarica. Thought it was their ball because the ball was 
in the air when he hit it. So Al, Cal Al Callahan comes in for South Baldwin. Got Miller with Villarica with the ball, throws it in to through the free throw line, shoots it back outside. Hughes comes down with the free with the offensive rebound. Ball's now on the left hand side, Miller's hands. He drills back toward the center of the court, midcourt, throws it down to Hughes. Hughes puts up a three pointer, comes off the far side, no good. Come Refs claiming it's coming off of a Villarica player. Villarica's trying to plead his case to no avail. It goes back to South Paul and Ball. We come to a man to man. It looks as though they're a man to man press. Come back down to Villar or South Paul got the ball in. Callahan. Long pass down to Callahan. Back out to Roberts. To Roberts. Roberts throwing over to Love. Love's looking down again. Bounce passes it over. Into Maxwell off the Maxwell's fingertips. He throws it back out. Comes back over to Callahan. Callahan puts it up, gets tipped. Misses the ball. Number four, Hatchet puts it back up, misses. Villarick is driving back down to Hughes. Hughes drives it up, and it's going to be a stepping under by number 12, Maxwell, I believe. Yep. yep that's his second, Mickey. Max. He did. He was out of position. They tried to catch up, and by then it was too late. Didn't wonder if that. That nose guard's doing something on his peripheral vision and getting him cross-eyed there. Hughes puts the first one up, goes in, it bounces around the rim again and, and goes in. Maxwell comes out, number 10, Bateson comes, C.J. Bateson comes back in. So the score's 9-4 here, 133 of the first quarter, Villarica leads. Hughes puts the ball up, he sinks this one as well. Hughes owns seven of the ten points for Villarica. Roberts with the ball, back court. Roberts throws it over to Love. Love to number four, Hackett. Hackett back to Roberts. Roberts back over to Love. Love shoots a three, misses. Rebound by Villarica, number three. Miller, Miller drives all the way, passes off to number 22. Hughes. Hughes. And there's a two-shot foul coming up. Foul's on. Number, number two, Love. Number two, Love. That's his first. Team fourth. Hughes has a ball. He's taking a breath. He bends his knees, puts it in the air. And this time, no bouncing around the rim, just a state straight swish. Nothing but net. You know, actually, this foul right here is Hughes playing a little bit, I think, because he stuttered, stepped right there, allowing the south ball in to catch up. And then as he jumped, moves into, but South Paulding trying to catch up from behind, ends up with a foul because the ball was, he was, Hughes was out of position. The ball was going to be nowhere near the goal. Hughes misses the second shot. Love comes down with a rebound, driving up the right-hand side. Oh, he stops at half court. Almost gets him a trap with three players, passes off over to 10, back over to to, to Williams, to, uh, to Love. Love throws the ball out of bounds. Davis again is looking, telling him to slow it down, concentrate, be focused. Villarica has a ball. It's there. Miller throws into uh, working a good triangle, good passes to four. Can't keep up with the passes. They're going so fast. Davis. Davis back to Miller. Miller's looking at 14. Dorsey on the middle uses him as a screen. The ball's met by Love. We'll get a jump ball. It'll be Villarica's ball, Mickey, with 44.9 seconds to go, leading 11 to four here. In the first quarter, Sal Paul has been real cold. It'll be Villarica's ball. Miller out front with the ball. Miller still out front looking. Gets a screen for number 12. Hill, Hill screen. Then he gets the ball back and hits a three. So it's 14 to 4 with 28 seconds. Sal Paul and number four, Hackett's got the ball. Across the Love. Love out front with the ball. Throws the ball over to Williams. Williams back to Love. Love looks and calls a foul there on number four, Hackett. No, that's going to be on Davis. Davis. With Villarica. Number four, that's his okay, first. He, he was pushing. The foul saved him from two points because they had an alley-oop that was setting up great. Number 10 just goes in for the layup there to Bateson. 8.3 seconds. Villarica driving. Miller gets it stole. Gets it back. Miller throws it right back to Miller. Miller, uh, no shot. Shoots no shoots late. Basket, no basket. 
So the score at the end of the first quarter is Villarica Wildcats 14, South Paulden 6 here at South Paulden High School. Uh, the boys game, 14-6 Villarica. Been a pretty fast-paced game, Mickey. It'll be South Paulden's ball as we come back out after to start the to start the second quarter in about 40 seconds. We come in. You're right. It it has and it's been been uh, Villarica has been been able to uh, maintain on the fast speed and going on, and they seem to be a little bit more concentrated. South Paulden's are trying to catch back up on the on the defensive side. It's, it's getting the foul, the cheap fouls that are coming in. You know, Davis is telling them to slow down and react on this. But uh, uh, neither neither team really are, are, are hitting their, their field goal shots. That's uh, they, they put them up. There's a lot of lot of missing. But Villarica is coming as their girls did, coming down with more offensive rebounds than than what we are at South Paulding. So it'll be South Paulding's ball here to start the second quarter, trailing 14 to six here at South Paulding High School. Number three Williams will throw the ball in to Love. Number two for South. Uh-oh, now Villarix is putting a little press on. So. Well, I think they've just gone to a man-to-man. He's, Hughes is just dancing around, I think, that, again, a little pressure. Press. With the ball back to Basin. Basin over to Love. Love back to Williams. Williams down in the corner. Shoots at number, that was number 24. 24. Foster, T.J. Foster shooting. Down in the far corner, couldn't see who it was. Miller throws it into Hughes. Hughes drives from the free throw line. He misses a shot. Villarica going for it. It is a oh. oh, the referee calls it's off of a South Paulding player. He looks as confused as I do, though, when he was making that call. So He was. All right, it'll be Villarica's ball, Mickey, under their own basket here. Uh, number three, Miller to throw the ball in. Miller's looking, giving time. He throws it back out to number four, Davis. Davis throws it inside to Law. Law dishes it back out to Miller on the left-hand side. Throws it way wide on the far side to Rodney Hill. Rodney Hill back up the top. They're swinging around the horn. Miller's looking to try it. It looks like they're overloading the right-hand side, bringing a shift on so they can shoot around that horn. They, they have passed the ball quickly. Number four comes in. That's Davis comes in with a three-point from top of the key and misses. Rebounds, the ball's thrown down to Love. Love comes in. He tries to slam the ball, dunk it, and he jams it up and hits it on the rim and then falls to the floor after he realizes the ball doesn't go in. Number 12 shoots the ball. Now time is called out. Now time is called. We've got the trainer from PT Solutions down checking to see. Now, uh, Love went up hard with the ball and jammed the ball into the rim. Then when he came back down, uh, Villarica got the ball, and you saw Love turn away from the play, travel across, and fall to the floor. Referees did. They had to, uh, the play kept going up until the uh, oh, possession ball, came to the possession, ball. and then uh, then time was called. Coach was getting permission to come down and check their player. Referee's telling all the players to get back on the floor. Yeah, that it's not a timeout. Right. It's an injury, injury timeout. Uh, coach going down, checking on his player. Coach Davis going down to check. See who's That's coming a, in the game. The referee's foul. letting, letting the <laughs> Villarica know that, you know, no, you don't get to talk with your players. So apparently it was a left, something with a left ankle or left knee of love as he came back down. So they're helping him off the court. He's not putting any pressure on the left on the left foot. So he's going to the bench. PT Solutions going to work on him. It'll be South Ball. For number four, Hackett to throw, throw the ball in for South. Uh, Christian Elliott comes in for him. The injured love, Elliot, down in the middle now. That was a long Hail Mary pass. It went too far. Villarica stole it, came back up through the middle. Miller's got the ball, throwing it out wide. Back to Miller at the mid-key. Throws it to the free throw line to number 11, Law. Turns, throws it back to Miller. Miller puts up a three-point air ball as the crowd screams out. Uh, now we have a travel, so it goes to South Paul. And uh, Villarica left the ground. Had no one to pass to, came back down with it. So he gets this Villarica doing a press. It's coming into a 
They're going to trap the look. Miller's catching back up with with Williams, who went tried to go coast to coast. Ball got away from him. Villarica stole the ball. Now thrown down wide to the left hand side to Davis. Davis throws it back just inside the free Law. free throw line to Law. Law sinks it for two. First of the second quarter. Foster to Roberts. Roberts drives back to number three, Williams. Williams over to number 10, Basin. And he's fouled by number 15. 15, Villarica. That's McDaniel. His first foul, team's third. Basin goes to the line to shoot two. You got Roberts, Elliott, Basin, and uh, T.J. Foster in the game for Sal. He sinks his first one. We get a sub coming in. Number one, Elliman, Eliman. Second shot's up by Basin. Basin puts it, bounces off. Villarica comes down with a rebound. He throws it out to Elliman. Elliman's bringing it across half court. Takes it to the top of the key. Throws out wide to, to Davis. Davis comes up with a ball. Throws back in to Law again. Law kicks it back out. The ball's thrown to the right-hand side. We're going to have a pushing foul on 15. Yeah. Elliott. That's, that's his first. Team's fifth. Now coming in the game for South will be number five, Matthews. 24 will go to the bench, Foster. And 10 for Villarica re-enters the game. That's Mims. Ball's thrown in, number five, all right off the bench. Matthews gets a steal. He throws it out to Williams on the right-hand side. Williams drives it down toward the right, back into Mims, back to the Williams, back to Mims. It's, looks like they're playing hot box here, back and forth to okay, five to Matthews. Matthews throws out to 23, Roberts, so they switch position. Roberts comes to the top of key, to the left, throws back out to Williams. Again, they're shooting around the horn, but Villarica really isn't having to move much because there's no threat inside yet. Had a three-point three point shot thrown up by number three, Williams. It bounces around. Villarica comes down with a rebound. Law, Law has the ball, comes back up to Elliman. Elliman throws out wide to Mims. Mims dribbles up, passes the ball inside to, to number 11 to Law. Law puts up, two, puts up misses, comes back down with a steal, goes up for a shot, and is fouled by Matthews. That'll be Matthews first, team sixth. South Paulin trails 16 to 7 here with 4.51 to go in the second quarter. Law goes to the line, Mickey, to shoot two. He looks up, shoots his first shot, and goes in. 17. We got a sub coming in for number three, Williams. He's going to the bench. With a hurt knee, it looks like. So That's going to be Law. Callahan's back in for him. Law's going to shoot his second shot here. Shots up. No good. Rebound by Bateson, C.J. Bateson. He's looking for someone to pass to. No one's there. He finally finds 23 Roberts. Roberts takes a clear down court. Can't see the corner. Throws back into Bateson. Bateson drives. Puts it in for two. Brings it 9-17. to 17. Sal, uh, Villarica Elliman has the ball. Brings it on the left-hand side. Now moves back up by half court. Throws out wide to Law. It's tipped by, by Callahan, but Law comes down with it. Passes over to Mims, who drives. Who comes back up to the top of the half court dead center. Throws it back over to Elliman. Elliman drives. Throws it off to Law. Law puts it on the ground. Dribbles. Throws out wide to 12 to Rodney Hill. And we have a three-second call on number 15, Villarica, which was McDaniel. So it'll be South Ball under Villarica's basket. 4.09 to go, trailing 17-9. to 9. South Paul and throws the ball in, Roberts. Roberts gets it back to Matthews. Matthews to Baton. Baton back to Callahan. Callahan drives, shoots, misses everything. Rebound Villarica. They're coming along. Here comes number one. Elam, he misses. Rebound Bateman. Bateman back to Matthews. Matthews going up the middle across to number 23, Roberts. Roberts with the ball. Throws it to Matthews. Matthew drives. Throws it to number 10, Bateman. Knocked out of bounds. It'll be South Ball, Mickey. Three yeah, 21, four. number Bonds for Villarica knocks that ball out of bounds. Now you have Elliott comes out. Elliott just on the previous drive had set up a beautiful screen uh, and then turn, turn for rebound, but it 
didn't work out for the score. Southpaw is ball underneath thrown to, to Bateson. Bateson goes up to shoot. We've got a foul called. I, I can't see the number. So 21. Let's see what they put up. Fouls on 11. Law, Mickey, his first team fourth. Bateman will go to the line for two. He's got the ball, bends the knee, the ball's in the air, comes down, swishes. Nothing but net on the first shot. Be 17 to 10, 3.38 to go in the first half. Randy's filming this on 278 to mix and called in TV. Second shot misses, rebound Villarica. Villarica, Elam with the ball out front. Elam with the ball over to number uh, 11, Law. 10. Mims. Mims. Mims out front. Gets the ball back to Elam. Elam out front with the ball. Gets instruction. Back to number 21. That's uh, Bonds. Bonds. Bonds out front. Back to Elam. Elam with the ball. Up. Now Villarica right now spreading that defense a little bit. Pulling out. Trying to go and then drive. So they'll drive in. Come back. Number 11. Law does some good, uh, good jump steps. Takes the ball in for two. Jump stops is what I meant. Now, South Paul and Ball, number one, Callahan had it through. Come back hard off of number four's hand. Thought they were going to be back court, but apparently they're saying Villarica could touch the ball. So it's still South Paul and Ball. They put up for three. as a bank shot, number five. Matthews, Matthews puts up for three. Makes it 18, 19 to 10 here. 19, 13. 13, excuse me, with 239. And We've got a 30-second timeout coach. by... South. By South Paulding. Matthews banked in a three-pointer from about a half a mile down the road there, Mickey. It's a good shot. So that brought them to within uh, six here with 239 to go. Number 40 checks in for South Paulding. That's Sewell. So we'll see who's in the game then for South. We're going to interview Randy Riggs at halftime about the Harlem team coming in to East Paulding for the big show on February the 16th here. We'll be interviewing Randy Riggs for that. Uh, Mickey will talk I've, to Randy. I've heard him been practicing over here as he's holding up the flyer, talking about it. He's excited. In fact, he's been over here trick dribbling here for a little while. So he's going to do some of the trick shots, I'm sure. Billerick has the ball. Elman throws. It's bounced around and uh, Elam with the ball out back to number four Davis. Elam back again. Sewell all over him. You know, see Wells covering covering him tight. Comes up to throws the ball back out wide to Davis on the right hand side. Elman on the other side throws into Law. Law throws the ball hard down into Bonds. Bond puts it in for two. South Paulding has the ball, throws to Sewell. Sewell back over to Matthews. Matthew throws back up top to Williams, who had re-entered the game. Goes back to Bonds. Bonds puts up a three-pointer off the rim. Bounces around. Comes off a of Villarica player. Villarica comes up with a ball. That was Mims. Throws it back out to Law. Law's driving through the center. Throws out to Davis. Davis who throws up an air ball. Offensive rebound. Sewell now comes down with a second shot. He's calling jump. Referee's calling jump ball between Sewell. And Bonds. Coach Davis is uh, arguing the point of, of there to be a foul. It'll be a Villarica ball. Okay. So it'll be Villarica's ball here. Under their goal. It's turned around. They throws the ball out wide to... Wide to Davis. Davis throws it back in to Bond. Bond dishes to Davis again. Elam at the top of the key. He goes in, jumps up in the ball. Love shuts him down. The ball comes to number five, Matthews. Matthews lays it in for a layup. That's two. 21-15 with 1.15 to go here in the first half. South cut the lead to six. Elman throws over to Mims. Mims just off center from the top of the key. Elman snuck through the backside, drives in, misses his shot, but we have a charge on him. That'll be his first, team fifth. Got a sub coming in, 14, which is Dorsey, Dorsey re-entering for Davis. So 
Go so. ball and brings it in, gets it to Sewell. Sewell. It's actually Sewell, but we'll, then Villarica steals it from him. Number one, Elam, and he charges. It's two in a row, Mickey, on Elam right there. Two quick fouls. That's their sixth foul. Let him come down three more times like that and he can enjoy the bench with a coach. He well, sitting, apparently he's sitting over there now. Is, I think he just hit the bench. Is Miller's coming back in. 51 seconds to go here in the first half. Sewell to throw the ball in to number 10. To over three. Three drives. Over to number four, Hackett. Hackett goes in, misses the layup. Stole by Williams. Williams gets it to Hackett. Back to five. Matthews shoots a three. Misses. 21. Bonds gets the rebound. Hackett takes it away from it. Throws it to right to number 10. Mims. Mims. Mims gets it over to number three. Miller. Miller out front with the ball with 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Dog and uh, Mims. Miller with the ball now into 21 bonds. Back to Miller. Miller out front. Matthews on him. 10 Mims. Mims throws it to 21. 21 standing down under the bucket. Hits the shot because he's in the lane the whole time. 1.6 second with a whistle. Fouls on number 10. There's seven fouls. So South Paulo will get one and one here, Mickey, with 1.6 seconds to go in the first half, trailing 22 to 15. If he can hit these, he can cut it 23 to 17. Yeah. So here we go. Williams at the line. First shot's up. Good. Nothing but net. So he'll get one more. Remember halftime, Randy Riggs talking about the Harlem Riz- Wizards coming to East Paulding High School on February the 16th at 7 p.m. East Paulding High School gym. It's going to be a lot of fun. Second shot by Williams up, misses everything. Goes to Villarica's ball with 1.6 seconds. 1.1. They're going to put one. Oh, one point. Because they the clock. I know, it started. It should have never started because it didn't hit the rim. I know. So here we go. Well, they're trying to put the 1.6 back on. One six, 1.6 is back on the clock. It never should have started. No. Davis is... Shot missed everything. Okay. So here we go. Miller to throw it in. Miller throws it across to number 11, Law. Law shoots the ball in. Oh, hits the top of the rim and goes away. So at the end of the first quarter, our first half, is 23, Villarica, 16, South Paulding. And we've got Mickey Skelton interviewing Randy Riggs here at halftime about the uh, Harlem Wizards, Mickey Skelton and Randy Riggs. Okay, we'll come up with a little bit of stats while you're passing this off. As he's coming off, the, he's calling for an interview about you and the, the the Wizards here. Let me let me give some stats that come in for the first half. For the first half, of course, as we said, it's 16 points for South Paulding. Four of that belonged to Hatchet, five to Matthews, four of it to Bateson. Uh, no, two four. Uh, six of it to Bateson, C.J. Bateson. That takes care of the 16 points. We ended up with uh, Love with one foul, Matthews with a foul. Maxwell with two fouls, Elliott with one, Foster with Foster with one. Apparently, we got some response over to the Villarica, Villarica cheerleaders who's going on, and then we got the South Paulding crew screaming, screaming over there to, to help them cheer. I guess Elman uh, with with Villarica had two fouls for the half, no points. Coming back down into Davis with a foul, Mims with a foul, Law with one. And with five points, we had Rodney Hill come in with six points. McDaniel on the books with a foul. Bonds uh, with four points. Hughes with one one foul and two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points out, which one, two, three, four. He went four, four, six out of his free throws. And that takes care of the stats, brings us up to speed on this. Now, Randy. He says, I'm supposed to be interviewing you about the Stars and Strikes, Harlem Wizards, Tricks, Hoops, and Alley Oops. 
It's going to be February 16th, Saturday. Doors open at 6, game at 7. Advanced tickets, $10, 12 at the door. I'm trying to do like the reporters do on television, take all your information and then ask you a question that just doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'll turn it over to you, Randy. Talk to us about it, buddy. Well, that game is going to be actually on the 15th and the 16th, the 15th and the 16th of February. The Harlem Wizards, the kind of a spinoff of the Harlem Globetrotters. Tricks, hoops, and alley-oops. There's one for you right there. It's going to be at East Pauling High School. And everybody's invited and it benefits the... Northside Elementary PTA, and uh, <coughs> I see a free a free post game autograph sessions coming in with the Harlem Wizards. Now this is the second year they've been out here, right, Randy? Yeah, they were here last year and had a great time. And uh, Northside Elementary School decided to bring them back again, and we jumped in the second night as two seventy eight. The mix will present the second night for uh, for. Uh, North Side Elementary, we're going to be there on Saturday and Friday night. But Saturday night will be kind of a high school night. We got some of the local athletes coming into play. We got two basketball players from Baldwin County. We have Mitchell Webb and Chandler Mitchell Webb from East Paulding and Chandler Brooks from South Paulding, as well as uh, Zach Roten, who went to Hiram High School, is going to play on Friday night. And then on Saturday night, it's going to be the same Mitchell Webb from East. We're going to have Lorenz Suttles from East, Chandler Brooks from South. We got two players coming in yet to be named for Baldwin County. I'm going to get a couple players here from South Paulding High School. And eventually, my goal on the Saturday night game, Mickey, is going to be to make a Paulding County All Star team for uh, basketball and let them play the Wizards uh, senior team. That would be great, but possibly a little embarrassing for Harlem Wizards as they go away one, with a loss out of the two games, right? Yeah, that would be very good, but, you know, we're going to work on that and make sure they get some good practice in. And, uh,. Make sure they got they got it going on with uh, you know they have a little pregame meeting with the players and let them know that the first two quarters are wizard time, the third quarter is athletes get out there and play a little bit, and the fourth quarter is about wizard time again. It's, so it's all about entertaining the kids. If you ever seen the Harlem Globetrotters, you will enjoy this game. We're going to carry it live on 278 The Mix. If you're available, Mickey, you and Jack can uh, have some fun and try to keep up with that game. <laughs> Yeah, I stutter enough just with the high school going back. Well, I can see that. Tr- tricks and alley hoops and hoops all that. See, I can't even say well, that. They, it, says, advertising. it says skeleton hoops and alley hoops. <laughs> yeah, that's Mickey yeah. Skelton there. I did, by the way, call uh, David Austin today and talk to him, our county commissioner, to see if he felt like playing or maybe even coaching the team, the Stars and Strikers. Uh, he's supposed to get back with me, but David's quite a character. If he's able and in town, he'd, he'd probably be out there with us and having a good time, our county commissioner taking on the Wizards. They don't know what hit them when David's first on the pair of shorts. That's, <laughs> that, that's, that's for sure. Now, also, uh, Randy, I know it's, it's we're, we're talking about the Harlem Wizards and such, but the Stars and Strikes helping out. But how about go ahead and fill us in a little bit more on this um, this Athletes College Day sign-up or the Collegiate Sign-Up Day that's happening, you say, Wednesday the, the 5th? It's going to be Wednesday the 6th of Six. February. It's the National Signing Day for... Uh, college uh, kids going to college, that's where they make their commitment. The Paulding County School District, uh, Don Breedlove, the athletic director, will be hosting that event. It's going to be fun. we got hopefully planning on about 12 kids coming up to make their uh, commitment to college. And that's going to be on February the 6th, starting about 1 o'clock. The kids are going to get some free bowling, a free game card. We're going to give them a pizza buffet. Uh, they're going to come in and get their uh, highlight reels played in the background. We have a couple of players committing to this school right here. If you're watching on the Internet, Georgia State, a couple of kids committed to there. I can't tell you who yet, but we'll let you know coming up on our National Signing Day, which will be on February the 6th. That Stars and Strikes hosted by Stars and Strikes, 278 The Mix, Paulding.tv, and the Paulding County School District. Now, where can I see this overlay that I'm looking at right here? Now, what? It's tell actually, me how I get uh, to that. That's actually on the, if they're watching it right now, it's going to be on there. They could be watching the screen to see the overlay. It's 278 The Mix and uh, Paulding.tv. That overlay is part of the uh, presentation that will be held on Wednesday. Uh, Paulding County School District's signing. Uh, Northwest Georgia signing spectacular. That, that is, and, and I hope that I hope this is just the uh, just the first and becomes of, a, of an annual event that uh, Stars and Strikes is able to to, to put on for this and. and I hope to see that it grows amongst for the for the county as well as the uh, 
moving out into some adjoining areas. Well, I hope that uh, this is going to be a very good thing for the county, Mickey. Um, you know, the original idea came from uh, um, Greg Musgrove and Tim Glanton. Greg Musgrove here uh, at East Paulding and Tim Glanton here at South Paulding. And then we got a great county commissioner, I mean a county athletic director that kind of put it all together, Don Breedlove. And uh, he's a heck of a football announcer, too. He kind of confuses you and I on his lingo because we don't know the true lingo of the football. But he gets, uh, he gets going, and he's fun to listen to. But uh, he kind of got behind it, got on board with it. The idea came from Coach Glanton and Greg Musgrove, and we kind of held it for a year, pushed it through, and uh, did what we could do to make it happen. And, and thanks to those guys for being the driving force. Also, along with um, the... Um, the principal that used to be at East Paulding, Vinus, Scott Vinus. I was testing you. Scott Vinus is going to. Uh, he was the driving force behind it, and Don Breedlove brought it to life. So we're going to hopefully make it a big deal for these guys. You know, the Atlanta media focuses on Cobb, Fulton, Gwinnett, DeCab. They focus on those players, and it's about time that we stand up and show them what Paulding County really has to offer. And that's why we do what we do here on the Mix and on Paulding TV, Mickey. We want to get these kids exposure, and we're glad to be a part of that. That's great. Well, I appreciate you joining us here at the halftime to tell us about the Harlem Wizards tricks, hoops, and alley oops coming up February 15th and 16th. Uh, they'll be played at East Paul in High School. Uh, look for you to come out and join us there, as well as to tell us about the National Signing Day, sponsored over at Stars and Strikes on February the 6th. Please all that can to be there for it. Now, we've got about a minute and a half to go before we start the third quarter. Jack's itching to get this microphone back over here so he can tell up some more stats or talk to something going here. So if I can steal it back from Randy, there we'll let go. him have it. There you go. There you go. It's going to be Jack, Mickey, Hoops, and Alley Oops. The tricks are you two guys. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a trick, like I said, if I can keep up with him coming back up to know where the ball is. This is Jack. I'm going to turn it over to you for a little bit of talk here before right. it starts up. Well, we appreciate the interview with Randy uh, Riggs there. Uh, his son plays tomorrow at uh, Roswell Street. What time's his game tomorrow, Randy? What time's your son's game tomorrow? Four ten. Four ten at Roswell Street Baptist Church. You want to see some fun with the little kids? He's awesome. It's been. I went down and watched them play the other Saturday, and it was just fun watching the little boys. But we're getting ready to go here in about 35 seconds. It's Villa Rica 23, Sao Paulo 16. We got the third quarter coming up shortly, and it looks like starting lineup for South. We'll find out who it is in just one minute. Remember the Harlem Wizards at East Paulding High School. Um, um, Jack, if real quick here, if I can go ahead and tell them now, again, around the county here, we have wrestling. All five high schools compete this weekend at Altoona High School for the regionals, hopefully to advance to the Macon Metro Centerplex February 8th and 9th back in the start of the state. Uh, if we real quick again, the North Paulding High School swimming uh, relay boys made the made the cut, 2:38, and that's uh, Venezel, Miss Winder, Fricks, and Coates. Uh, Ms. Winder will also uh, compete solo in the in the 500. But we've got game time starting back up. Take it away, Jack. All right, uh, Sal Paulding has the ball. Williams over to Love, back to Williams. Williams with the ball out front, back to Love. Love shoots for a three, misses, rebound. Back to Williams. The ball's moving pretty fast. Back to Love. Love shoots and hits it. Makes it 18-23. 7.37 to go here. Villarica with the ball. That's Miller out front dribbling it through his legs. Now he goes back to the other side. Now Miller back to the right. Gets a screen by number 14. Hill. I mean, no, Dorsey. Dorsey loses it. Gets it back to number 22. 22 loses it. Stole by number three, Williams. Williams comes down the court. He loses it. Now it's a jump ball, I guess. That's what, he, that's what he's called is a jump ball. And so it'll be uh, Villarica's ball going the other way. Villarica's got the basketball. Miller out front drives, gets it knocked away. Number two gets it, lost it. Number 11, Law. He loses it. Back to number two. He loses it. So now they, they got a foul finally. Yeah, number 11 trips. Yep, number 11 trips. That's the first foul of the third quarter against Law, his first. Sal Paulin's got the basketball on the side. It was back and forth there. Everybody kept losing the basketball. 
So Sal Paulin's got the ball, number two. Love over to number three. Williams. Williams comes across half court on the right hand side, throws it out to wide to Foster. Foster drives and then pulls back out, focuses up, looks. He loops, passes it into number 10, Bates, and Bates and throws it back out. Puts up his three pointers thrown short. Maxwell almost with a steal. The ball still loose going on to Villarica side. Law has about half court while Bates and knocks it out of his hand. Miller comes up with it for Villarica. The Miller has it on the right hand side, throws deep deep on the right, back out to Miller at the top. Again, they're just bouncing back and forth, waiting on some kind of movement. Law in the middle has it, throws it out to Hughes. Hughes ditches it back over to the left, right hand side outside. Miller has the ball up top, waiting to try to get the offense to set back up again. They saw something. He saw something he liked, so he was trying to get the ball back, pass back in. Miller, uh, Law setting a pick. This is Miller throws up for three, misses. Offensive rebound by 14. 14 That's goes back Dorsey. up. Dorsey makes the shot. 25 to 18, 549 to go, Mickey. Williams with the ball for South. Williams dribbles across the timeline. Gets number two, Love, to break away. Love breaks, gets it back to James Maxwell, puts it in and comes out. It'll be South Paulding's ball. Knocked out of bounds by Villarica. Maxwell hit the ball twice. Yeah, he's so, got to use that backboard. Maxwell stays in. Well, he put the ball Basically in the hole. Back. It just come out. So That's why I say use that backboard. I like anywhere close into there. That backboard needs to be used, Jack. T.J. Foster shoots, and James Maxwell knocks it out of the Villarica guy's hand. So it'll be Miller throwing the ball in the wall back to Miller. Miller with a basketball, dribbling across the timeline. Number two, Love gardening. Miller out front looking to drive. He gets a screen by Law, gets it back to Law. Law shoots, misses, rebound by T.J. Foster. Foster back to number three, Williams. Mickey coming across the timeline. He's, Williams is met by Miller at the top. Miller, Williams comes over the right-hand side, then drives back through the middle, passes out to Maxwell. Maxwell throws it right back to him. Nothing going, so Miller's right on top of oh, A good spin move by Williams. Williams drives in, puts it up in the air, misses the shot. Offensive rebound by South Paulding. Maxwell comes down, throws it back out to Mill, Williams. Williams goes up for his three-point from the far left-hand side. It's a missed. Referee calls that it. it's out on on South Paulding becomes Villarica's ball. Coach Davis is arguing the point. Referee doesn't seem to be listening, just keeps moving down the court. South Paulding picks him up at half court. Miller throws the ball through to Law. Law drives, dish, ditches the ball down to number 14. Dorsey, Dorsey goes up. Maxwell gets his third foul. That's Maxwell's third of the night with 4.33 to go here in the third quarter. South Paulding trailing 25 to 18. Number 14, Dorsey's at the line to shoot two. You know, Jack, if you're going to foul, though, that's the way to foul. The ball never comes up across, you know, above above the shoulders. So uh, he missed the first one, Mickey. So Dorsey's still at the line with one shot, and we've got three South Paulo players coming in. Matthews, 23, Roberts, two. He's already in the game, love. So it was Matthews and uh, Roberts coming in for South. Missed both of them. Love gets the rebound over to Williams. Williams with the ball to Love. Love's dribbling it. Stole there. Now Love coming back to Williams up the right side. Williams dribbles, gets it stole. And number three, Miller with the ball for Villarica. Shot by number 12. Rebound by number 23, Roberts. He knocks it right to to number uh, 22, Hughes, and Hughes gets nailed to the floor by Hatchet. By Hackett. Hackett nails Hughes to the floor, so he'll get two shots, I guess. Um, Sal Paulden could not buy a basket that time down the yeah, floor. Yeah, but now, Jack, you know, when you come in, Love and Williams are coming in dribbling. They, they got three and four players around them and continue to dribble instead of pass out to anyone on this, trying to do around the backs, around the back dribbles. Hughes hits his first shot. And each time those balls were stolen easy, but you had had three other players just standing wide open on the side. So uh, he's trying to press press and rush something through. Hughes throws up for the second one and hits it as well. Love to throw it in. He throws it in to, uh-oh, that wasn't love. That was and that was stolen Matthew. by Miller. Miller goes to drive, loses number five, 
Matthews hits the ball, knocks it out of bounds. Villarica ball under their basket. Miller to throw the ball in for Villarica. Miller alley oops it up. Log log waits for it on the floor, gets it, throws it out wide left, gets a three point by number twelve, Rodney Hill. Hill hits a three pointer from downtown there. So let's see what the referee calls on this play. He called the foul on number twenty one or one two twelve. Twelve gets his first foul. The score thirty to eighteen with three fifty one to go here in the third quarter. Um, South Paul throws it into Love. Love drives, steps around. He's going to have trap. Wait, no shot. Williams will go to the line to shoot. No, he said it was uh, it was on the floor. So wow, wow. Davis arguing that point with the same referee. But he calls it by two, but two wasn't even on the floor. So here we go. Miller with the ball across midcourt. Miller looks down in the corner to heel, but then drives him away. Back to 14. 14 shoots a three. That was uh, Dorsey. Dorsey hits his three right there. Makes it 33-18 with 3.27 to go. South gets the ball knocked out of bounds by number three, Miller. So it'll be South ball under their own basket. Miller throws out to the top Matthews. of the key. To Roberts. Yep. Roberts in to number four, Hackett. Hackett throws it in, breaking Williams, and it gets knocked away by number 11, Law. Miller with the ball on the right side. Miller looks down in the corner, tells him to go the other way. And man, what a screen that was. Who, what did he call here? Out of bounds. Number 10. Bateson and 24 Foster re-enter the game for South Paulden. Be South Paulden or Villarica's ball. They throw into Hughes, looping, looping in, throws it back to Miller. Miller's taken across half court on the right hand side. He's met by Williams. Williams now backs off and allows Million to come to the top of the key. Law sets a pick. It looks like we'll have a moving pick, number 11, Law. Wow. That's his third, isn't it, Mickey? That is his third. <laughs> Law, Law has a moving pick there. It'll be South Ball under Villarica's basket. Back to Matthews. Matthews throws it to number 22 for uh, Villarica Hughes. He goes out of bounds with it, so it'll be South Ball again right here. South Paulin's ball under Villarica's basket. Gets the ball into number 24. Foster, Foster, Foster on the drives. Back. It makes the basket 20, 32 to 20 here. 242 to go. Number three, Miller with the ball going across the timeline. Miller standing out front dribbling the basketball. Trying to see how long he can hold it. Got number 12 coming back. Hill gets it to number 14. Gets it blocked by number three, Ken Basin. They call a foul on number 14 Dorsey. 14, Dorsey. He got the ball blocked by Basin. Basin blocked the ball. Now number 24 is going to throw it in Foster for South Paul. And 21 Bonds is in for Dorsey. Bonds in for Dorsey. Uh, apparently it looks like the Coach Davis got a uh, warning. For what? Well, it, he held his hand up to him, blew the whistle and pointed, but... Maybe he did. Maybe he was just holding his hand up, telling him to quit. South Paulin took a shot. Number 23, Roberts, a long three-pointer off the rim and out of bounds. Villarica ball. Miller has the ball. It's met by Williams. Williams cover him as he cuts across. Miller breaks, throws the ball out right to the white right. It comes back to Mims. Mims takes a long three-point shot and sinks it. He put that up like he's done that before. Yes, he did. 36-20 with 158 to go. 24, Foster shoots, misses, rebound by number 10, Mims. Mims gets the ball back to Miller. Miller goes down, throws it in to number 21, Bonds, who hits the bucket, 38-20. Now, Sal Paulden beat them last time they played them. 
Um, 21 Bonds fouls on the play. That'll be his first. Bonds first, team Six. fifth. Sixth. Sixth. Team six. Sal Paulden has two fouls. We've got a quarter, an, a minute and 36 to go here in this game. And uh, number four, T.J. Foster goes to the line, shoots the first and makes it. So it's 21-38. Number two comes back in the game for South. That's Love. Love, Matthews, Foster, Callahan, and Williams are in the game for South. He hits the second one. So it'll be Villarica's ball. Throws it into number three, Miller. Miller dribbling up the left side, back over to the middle, telling everybody to clear out. He's clearing the floor. He's just going to stand out front. Williams, 24, Hackett. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Foster. Foster, 10, drives in, gets fouled by, no, gets fouled by number 24 for South Paul, and that's Foster. Is that his second? That's his second. His second foul, team fourth. So South Paul and uh, Villarico get the ball on the side here. Minute 17 left in the third quarter. Miller has the ball coming for Villarico across half court. He's moving over to the right-hand side, motioning for his men to move. Number 21 gets the ball, throws it back out. Miller throws a three-pointer in and out. Rebounded by... Foster gets it knocked out of his hand. Comes back up with South Paulin. South Paulin throws to Love inside. Love gets a foul from number 21 from Villarica. That's Bonds. Bonds. That's his third. I'm showing his second. His and second, be, excuse me. That's right. And it'll be his uh, team seventh. So, so they'll go to one and one. I think he's shooting too. He was shooting oh, he in was, the process of shooting on the play. Mm, so if, if you say so. <laughs> so it'll be... Uh, number two, Love. Yeah, one and one. They're holding one and one. Wow, they are holding one and one. Yeah, it looked more like he was trying to move the ball around. He not. was. But I thought he had said shoot him. So he hits the first. So Love hits the first one, makes it 23, 38-23 with 55.8 seconds to go. Love shoots his second shot. It's good also. Got 14 but for Villarica, which is Dorsey. Dorsey. He's coming back in. He's coming back in for Bonds. Miller to throw the ball in to number 10. Uh, Mims. Mims. Mims got the ball back to Miller. Miller comes across midcourt. Number three, Williams guarding Miller. 14 trying to sec- set a pick, and he does. And Mim- uh, Miller goes around and gets it to 22. Warren Hughes. Hughes gives it to number 10, who dishes it off to 14. He misses it, and the foul's on. Let's see, number 14 will go to the line. That'll be Dorsey. Who was the foul on, Mickey? Looks like it said number one, but yeah, that's number one. That's Callahan. Callahan, his first. Team fourth, and we got Dorsey at the line. He'll shoot two. Hits the first. 39, 24, 35 seconds here in the third quarter. So we'll see what happens here. Dorsey to shoot another one. All right, here we go. Dorsey gets the ball from the ref, 35 seconds. Up, shots up, good. He makes it 40 to 24. Sewell's got the ball across midcourt. Sewell looking for somebody gets trapped and gets it knocked away, number 10. Takes it all the way down, passes it off to 14, 14. Dorsey puts it in. So here goes number three, Williams, down the court. Williams goes up, misses. Moves away from the foul. Number 12, Villarica is bringing up Rodney Hill. He brings up, throws it out wide to the left-hand side. Can't see who has it, but he throws it up to Elaman. Elaman at the top. He goes to drive in a beautiful screen. He puts up an air ball at the last second. The, blow, the horn blows. Go ahead with the score. So at the end of the fourth quarter here, of third quarter, excuse me, 42 Villarica Wildcats, 24 South Paulden Spartans here, getting ready to start the fourth quarter in about one minute. Uh, both teams are on their benches talking to the coaches. Let's see who Maxwell will come in, though. He's still out of the game. Number four, Hackett's out. 14. Uh, is Brown. He's he's the number ten 
Basin is out. So Basin, Maxwell, Hackett, and Brown are out of the game. Uh, again, Jack, as we'll start off, this is those, we've got just a moment as we'll talk about spread some sports around from the from around the county there. We have the girls, North Baldwin High School swimmer, just Stephanie Peters, 100, 100 freestyle and 100 fly. She'll be February 8th and 9th at the state. Uh, again, the boys, North Baldwin boys relay team will be be competing. And we'll have Jordan Neeswinder with his 500 uh as well, the all five schools for the wrestling will be completing. We'll be back into some basketball here. Be South Paulins basketball here to start the fourth quarter. Roberts gets the ball thrown in. He goes across the center line. Love Williams back to Williams. Roberts moves down. Number one Callahan comes across back to Sewell. Sewell looks, looks, still looking. Throws the ball. To one Callahan, Callahan over to number two. Love, Love shoots a three and hits it. Love hits a three. Got four. <laughs> That's what you call double dribbling there, I believe. Bill Ricker tries to save the ball, but he steps out of bounds. And we got subs coming in. Maxwell and Bateson, CJ Bateson coming back in. So it'll be South ball under Villarica's basket. They got a full court press on Basin with the ball. Nikki over to number 23, Roberts. Roberts looks. Finds number three, Williams. Williams back to Roberts. Roberts got the ball. He gets it over to Love. Love shoots a three. He hit the last one, misses that one. Maxwell comes down with it, but he's off balance, so he ends up trying to throw it back in. Villarica gets the ball. Tim Mims. Drives, goes back down the coast. He misses it. Love throws the ball, leads him too far, and Williams trips a little bit anyway. So he's getting it. Davis is hollering and telling him to slow down and under control. So Elam throws the ball into number 12. Hill, Hill back to number 10. Mims, Mims dribbles across the center line. Gets the ball to number 12. And 15, 15, excuse me, that was McDaniel. He hits the bucket three. They get it. Run and gun, and it gets knocked out of bounds by Villarica. It'll be South Paulin's ball under their own basket, trailing 44 to 27, with 6:39 to go in the fourth quarter. Miller for Villarica comes back in for Elaman. Elaman. South Paulin has the ball in under their basket, number 23. Roberts takes it across to the top of the key. He drives back over to to Williams. Let's see, we heard a whistle. We got a foul against number 14. That's Dorsey. That's his second. Team eight. South Paulin will shoot one and one here. They're in the bonus. They'll go to the one and one for South. Shoots the first and Williams makes it. So it's 28 44 here with 6 30 to go in the game. South Paulin trying to run with Villarica. See what happens here. Next shot's up by Williams. Misses. Rebound number 14. Dorsey. Dorsey. Dorsey gets the ball back to Roberts. I mean to uh, Miller. Miller. Miller with the ball back court. Crossover. To number 15, McDaniel. McDaniel back to number 12, and he gets picked off by Roberts, who goes oh. and hits the shot. Love jumps up, makes it look like he puts his hand on it, and uh, so the referee's called no basket. He didn't touch the basket, I don't yeah, think. That's you don't. You've heard the whistle. The whistle had already blown. You don't go up in the air to it, Jack. I agree. I agree. But he was running down court full blast. So uh, number uh, twenty, <laughs> Robert goes to the line, shoots one, misses it. So he'll get to shoot another. The foul was on number 10 that time. That was uh, Mims. That was his second, team ninth. So Sal Paulin will be in the double bonus after this. So he shoots, misses, rebound number 14. They claim it off Maxwell. Maxwell tried to knock it back into the Villarica player. So number five, Matthews, comes in for somebody. He's coming in for number two, Love. Love. So Matthews is in the game now. Number three, Miller to throw it in for Villarica. 
Hughes down deep, down court. They get the ball into 14. Dorsey, Dorsey gets it back to Miller. Miller drives down to number 14. And 12. He hits 12. He hits a three right there. That, that was, was Rodney Hill. Rodney Hill hit his second three of the night. 47-28 with 5.51 to go. Number three, Williams drives in and makes it. So it's 47-30 here with 5.46 to go in the fourth quarter. South Paulding calls a timeout. So it's a full timeout for South. And here we go. But uh, South Paulding trying to run with Villarica, and they're not doing a very good job of keeping up with them, Mickey. It's... Uh, uh, they're a little bit faster. Villarica is a little bit faster than South Paulding. We want to remind everybody on uh, Wednesday the 6th, they're going to have National Signing Day at Stars and Strikes starting at 1 o'clock. All the players in the county that will be signing scholarships will be there and their families. We hope that we have a big turnout. So come out to Stars and Strikes on Wednesday if you want to see some future athletes, maybe some pros. You never know. We've had a couple, one from Hiram uh, uh, that played at Kentucky. He He's now with the Philadelphia Eagles, so you never know. One of these young kids may be the next superstar of pro- professional football. It'll be next Wednesday at 1 o'clock at Stars and Strikes. Okay, Villarick is going to get the ball, Mickey, with 5.46 to go. The South Paul and then a full court press here. Everybody got a man-to-man. So here we go. Villarica had the ball on the far right-hand side, throws back into Miller, who's their main grip, main ball handler. He's bringing across half court on the right-hand side, spins back to come across to the left. He's looking, trying to set up. They've got the, sport, the floor spread, Villarica does. So coming back in, 14 sets, the pick goes to roll. Miller, Miller mishandles the ball, comes up with love, comes into number 10. Ten base and base and tries to tries to uh, dunk the ball. It comes off the rim and goes out. Out Villarica is called timeout now. Because the ball was rebound by Villarica. Of course, Coach Davis is going to look and say, "You know, I want my two. Right now, I'm not looking at pretty. I want two. You always want the two. But these young kids, they get it in their mind. I can do it, and then it don't happen. And they say, "Well, I thought I could." So. You hated to see that happen, but he had an easy layup yep. if he'd have made it. Well, you know, you, you never know on the fouls what's going to happen, how much contact's going to be allowed, or what's going to what's going to happen. It's through this, so so it'll be Miller Rickers ball down under South Paulding's basket, number three Miller to throw it in, Mickey. So here we go, five sixteen to go in the fourth quarter. Villarica leads by 17. Miller's going to throw it in. He's looking. Of course, it's a spot foul, or spot place here. He throws in to number 14, Dorsey. Dorsey's taking up the right-hand side. He's going in. Mishandles the ball as it's touched. Ball goes up. He catches it steps out of bounds. South Paul and ball. Number five, Matthews throws it in. Uh, ball gets stolen by law. And then ends up going out of bounds off Law's leg. The South ball with 5.04 to go. Matthews to throw it in for South. Now they're calling Villarica's ball. Now, now Villarica's ball. They don't know whose ball it is. All right, here we go. 21 Bonds. Bonds gets it rejected. Blocked. Ball's tapped. I don't know if it was by Miller or by Hughes, but the ball goes out of bounds down on the baseline. South Paul the ball throws it in, gets the top of the key, sitting in Roberts' hand. Roberts backs up, looks, throws it over to Love, back to, to Roberts. They're trying to spread the court just the same as Rilarica that's coming back in. Love cuts across, gets the ball on the far left-hand side, throws it in to, to Rutt Bates, and Bates puts it on the floor, goes up for a layup, misses, but he's fouled in the process. Looks like number 20. Two. Two, that'll be Hughes. Uh, Hughes ain't even in the game. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Okay. I thought the foul was on 21 bonds. But that'll, be, that'll be his second. That's his second. Team, team 10. 10. So there's a two-point two shot from now on for South for the rest of the game, Mickey. They're in the double bonus. So well, that, you got to hit them to make them hurt, Jack. That, that's, that's true. Got to hit them to make them hurt. He's shooting his second shot here. He shoots, makes that one, so... 
31-47 with 4.37 to go. Because which, Randy's looking over asking me which home, which hometown I'm from. <laughs> you know, you're probably from both of them. I don't know you. <laughs> Uh, Miller Ball Law has it. He he drives, brings it back in, picks up his dribble, throws to Miller. Miller mishandles it, but he gets it back, draw, throws out to Law on the far left-hand side. He throws to Miller. It looks like a push. It is. He's coming back. He's calling this on Williams. It'll be his first. Team fifth. Williams with a push to Law. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Villarica Ball. be on the left-hand side of the court. We're throwing it in. They've got a stack. Luke Miller breaks down court. Ball's thrown into him on the backcourt side. Williams picks him up about half court. Miller stutter steps and he comes across half court. He's now driving back over to the left hand side. Law gets it, drives across the top, setting the ball up on the top, far right hand side, drives, pitches it into Dorsey to Bonds. To Bonds. Bond puts it in for two Bonds, not Jane Bond. James Bond, that was Bond. Roberts with the ball coming across mid court after that. They let the man get away, and then Roberts with the ball back to Matthews. Matthews in to number 10. Back to Matthews, who shoots a three, misses everything, and he oh, throws it off a number. Good play by Love. Love turns around, puts it off the feet a number of number 23. 22. Is it 23? Uh, what? 22 Hughes. 22 Hughes. That was Hughes. Number 12 goes out for Bill Rico. That's... Uh, R. Hill, he goes out of the game. South's got the ball. He throws it in over to Love. Williams down in the corner. He drives. Throws Pitch up to Matthews. Matthews in to, to base, and base and gets fouled as he's trying to go up, so he'll be that's shooting That's got to be on Bonds. <laughs> he says 22 is what he's saying. That's his third. Hughes third. I think the referee is 22. They got it 22, his fourth. So I don't know. Well. So anyway, he hits the first one. So the clock's not running. 3:27 to go. 49:32, Villarica. Here we go again for a second shot. Basin, one shot here. Shoots and makes it. So it'll be Villarica's ball. So he gets ball out of bounds. South Portland with full court press. Looks man to man. They're going to trap, but they foul. Love fouls. Quickly. So it'll be Villarica's ball again under the under South Paulden's basket with 3:24 to go. Everybody getting the man here. Ball's thrown alley up down to Law. Law gets the ball, puts it up for two, misses, comes off the backboard, doesn't come close. North South Paulden gets the, the rebound, gets the back back a half court. Robert by Roberts. Roberts goes a. Throws it out wide to Williams. Williams puts it on the ground, drives for the layup, and oh. misses, but he's fouled. He gets two. Let's see who they call that one on. 21. This time they finally got one on Bonds. <coughs> so I'm trying to figure out how they call that on 22. He's not even in the game for Villarica. Now, it was earlier because it came off the feet. I don't know when he got subbed. But he sinks, uh, William first. sinks the first one. 14 comes back in. That's Dorsey. 21 Bonds goes out. That was his third foul. With 3.09 to go, 49-34. Uh, Reca Wildcats shoots the next one. It's up, misses it. Miller gets the rebound. Got Williams guarding him. Miller and Williams. Williams passes him. He gets the foul. Yeah, they kind of they were thinking it was going to get rough over there by the score table. It's just because the score table was up. Both players kind of held on to each other, let it be known that they were okay, that there wasn't a, there wasn't anything negative. Thought about the foul it was just hard play. That's that's his three fouls on three. His third. His second. Second. Me. His second, 10, ten against Villarica, seven fouls against South Paul in here. This is Miller's first time to the free throw line during this game. Now you've heard his name all game, no points, but he misses that. He gets the ball over to Williams, 24, Foster rebounds, gets it to Williams. Williams drives, goes up, and he don't get the points. Fouls on number 14, Dorsey. So, 
Williams will go go to the line. First shot's up and he misses. He goes off to the left hand side, doesn't hit anything, just barely hits the backboard before it comes back to him. Short again off the front of the rim. Traveling by Law. Law was grabbing for the ball as he as he went down, so it's South Paulding's ball under their basket. Williams has the ball, he's looking for the break, throws it out wide, throws it out long as he steps back in. Love throws it back to him. Roberts drives back to number 10. He makes it. 36-49 with 2.41 to go. South Paulding calls timeout. Uh, got a full timeout, South Paulding. So we've got two minutes and 41 seconds to go. 49 Villarica, 36 South Paulding here. This is the final home game of the year for South Paulding. They play at Rock Mart tomorrow night. Next Tuesday, Bill Rickle will finish the season at Hiram High School. So we've got two minutes and 41 seconds down by 12, Mickey, or 13, excuse me. There's Bill Rickle. Bill Rickle cheerleaders got, got some spirit going on. It's getting the South Paulding students getting a little bit of rise out of them to their banner back and forth. It's just a, just make for a good night at the at the gym and good you know some basketball at least for Villarica it's good basketball. All right, here we go with 2:41 to go in the game. Don't forget on February the 16th the Harlem Wizards will be at East Paulding High School the 15th and 16th. Game time starts at seven o'clock. Uh, sponsored by the Northside PTA, Northside Elementary School PTA is sponsoring this basketball game. So Villarica to go to throw it in. That's got to be Miller to throw the ball in for for Villarica. He throws it in. Oh, 14 almost shot it, it looks like. Up, he double dribble. Up. Fouls on 14, which is Dorsey, be his fourth. So it will go to the line, Mickey, to shoot two, two there in the double bonus. Villarica has one and one, but South Paulin's in the double bonus here. So the coaches are doing a little coaching time here as we as we go down to the foul shot. Number three, Williams, is at the foul line for South. It looks like his legs was giving away earlier. Let's see, get a little strength up into here. Boom. He hits it. Puts so that back in there. 37. They're, they'll be down by 9 or, t- or 10 or 11. If he hits this one, they'll be down by 10. So here we go. I'll be at 11. He's 12 now. Oh, it is 12. I'm sorry. You all right? That's 11 now. I thought, I thought that was a 48, but it's a 49. We, uh, Miller to throw it in. Throws it in, gets it back to Miller. Miller gets it over to Law. Law gets it down court to, to Mims. number 10. Mims. Mims over to number 12. He shoots. Misses, gets his own rebound, follows, misses again, number three, Williams. Oh, Williams. For the travel. Williams gets the ball and travels as he goes down the court. I thought you had to take two steps, not one, before you put it on the ground. Well, it may have been when he wrapped it up around his back and went up to the front. That's That may be when the referee was looking and watching about some of these Harlem's troops and hoops and... <laughs> Miller to throw it in. Miller tries to get it into number 12. Back to Miller. Miller out front. He's trying to get away from everybody. Just dribbling the basketball. Williams guarding him. Williams on him. He gets up. He gets away and he calls He calls a foul. Fouls on number three, Williams. His third. Third. Team ninth. So he'll go to the line to shoot one and one. Team's eight. Team's eight, I'm sorry. That is their eight foul. So he's going to shoot. Miller shot a minute ago. He, he hadn't hit a point, has he? Wasn't that what you told me? That's what I said. He hasn't, but he's but his name's been called. He's flat out on the defensive and the offensive side. He hits his up. first foul shot there. Miller gets another one with 2.09 to go in the game, 50-38 to 38, uh, Villarica. They come all back down court. All the players are back on this end of the court for Villarica. Four South Paulding players on the other end. 
He shoots and misses. South gets the ball. Number three, Williams, comes across the center line, down to number 24. T.J. Foster hits a three, makes it 41 to 50. 51, 50 to 41. He walked number 11. He got away with it. He gets the ball over to number 10, 10 Mims. Mims. And Mims gets pulled down by number 24. Is that who they called it on? That's his. T.J. Foster. It's his third. His third. Team's 10th. So they go to Team's ninth, ninth. Excuse me, ninth. They'll go to the line, shoot one and one, one more time. Next one will be the double bonus. So we'll see what happens here now. Minute 48 remaining in the game. Nine point difference. Villarica at the free throw line. Villarica 50, South Paul in 41. First ball is up and missed. South Paul gets the rebound, throws it out to Williams. Williams brings it across half court, throws it over to Love. They get it back over again. They're shooting around the horn. We get a foul on Law. Law trying to steal the ball gets his gets it caught. Gets that his arm fourth? caught. Number eleven. That's his fourth. His fourth. He'll go to the line. Shoot two. The clock stopped. So they could come up two more points here if he can hit these free throws. And that's T.J. Foster at the line for South Paulden. First shots up. Makes it. 42, so you can cut it to seven right here, Mickey, if he can hit this one with a minute 38 to go. So here we go. T.J. Foster shoots the second one. It's up. It's good. So they cut it to seven. Bill Ricker trying to decide Miller to bring it in. Miller brings it in to number 11, Law. Law drop. Calls it on number two as a block. That's his third. That's their tenth, so it'll be two-shot foul for them. They're in the double bonus now. Both teams in the double bonus with a minute and 34 to go. Law is one for two on his free throws. Misses his first. So he's now one for three. So Law is going to shoot his second attempt here. Misses number 10. Basin gets the rebound over to Williams. Williams out front down to number two. Love. Love shoots a three. Misses. Rebound by 23. Roberts makes it a five-point game here with one with 122 to go, Mickey. It looks like it's going to get close right here. And so we've got a 30-second timeout by South. By South. So they'll have one full timeout. Villarica still has four timeouts. Villarica gets to run the floor here on this play. They can bring it in from anywhere under South's basket with one one minute and uh, 30 or 22 seconds to go, 50 to 45. Villarica over South Paul. And uh, remember, tomorrow night, South Paul's last game at uh, – Rock Mart. I think it starts at 4.30. I'm not sure. And we'll look and see and try to get that to you before the end of the game. But uh, Villarica is going to bring the ball in. Law, or Rob, uh, excuse me. Miller will bring it in for Villarica. We'll see who's... So they're in a man-to-man. 11 Law gets the ball. Foul by T.J. Foster. Foster fouls uh, Law. Law will go to the line. How many has he hit? That's his four. TJ's four. How many has uh, Law hit? Foul How many shot. Is the second? Law is one for four. One for four at the foul line. Here he goes with his first one. So right now he is the one to foul by percentages anyway. He misses that one. One, so for, one five. for five. So Law will get one more attempt here. All the players of Villarica gathering around him here. So here we go. Minute 21, five-point deficit. So Law goes back to the line to shoot his second attempt here with 121 to go in the game. Hughes is the only Villarica player back for the defense. He sinks that one. Gets it into Williams. Williams comes up the right side. Mickey getting in a hurry. Number 23, Roberts. Roberts gets the ball down to number... 224 Foster. Foster gets his own 
Rebound rejected and misses it. Gets a rebound again back to number three. Williams and Williams gets fouled. And the foul's called on number three. Three Miller. Miller. He will go to the line to shoot two. The clock stopped with 105 to go. So if he can hit both of these, he can cut the lead to four. 51, it'd be 51-47 if he hits both of these shots right here. Williams shoots the first one. It's up. It's good. So it's 51-46. Can he cut it to four with a shot? Sub- substitute South. Miller, or uh, uh, Sewell comes in. Number one, Callahan comes in. He's six for 11 on his free throws Next today. Next shot, Williams shoots. Six Misses. for 12. It's going to be his fourth foul. Mal- a foul's on number three. Williams, his fourth. Going to the line for two will be uh, La- I mean, Law again. He's going for two. He missed one and one. Hit one, missed one it's last two time. Two for six. Two for six here. Cl- clock still stopped with 103 to go. So they're down by five. So the last three minutes of the game will be about seven, nine minutes, 12 minutes. So he hits the first. Law hits the first shot coming out of the game. will be number one, Callahan. Coming into the game will be number 10, Basin, and number two, Love, back into the game. So. Bill Rick is not around for the uh, for the rebound, but they are about, about three-quarters court. So he hits both of them. 23, Roberts got the ball. Mickey coming up the left side. Roberts comes across to the middle. Number three, Williams. Over to number two, Love. He drives, gets it back to Williams. He drives. He gets gets it in. So 53-48. Five seconds. 50.5 seconds to go here. Is that South's last time out? They've called it. Yep. yep. So... They're a five-point spread with 50 seconds to go right here. South Poland's going to have to steal the ball, get a three, and then hit a two on a on a replay here right quick with 55 seconds. Number three, Miller will probably bring the ball in for Villarica. He handled the ball most of the night for them, Mickey. That's true. Uh, done a great job as their point guard. Uh, it's been a good game on both sides. Uh, Bill Ricca played south on the 15th of January, lost to him 60 to 56 at Bill Ricca. So here we go. We're getting ready to go right here now. Bill Ricca hadn't come out of the huddle yet, so we'll see what happens here. See who brings the ball in and all. Number three, Miller's going to go down to bring the ball in. He's walking a little gingerly there. It looks like not very fast, but he's getting ready to bring the ball in for him. Got 14, Dorsey down here on the right side. Got a screen, putting on a screen there. He gets by Matthews, goes all the way to, to Dorsey, and he hits the basket. Dorsey makes the shot, foul by number, who they call that on, 40? That's Sewell. Fouls on Sewell. And his first. Uh, his first. The basket was good. 45.4 seconds. South Paulden changing a few players around. Matthews comes out. We got one, two, three, four, five on their side, five on their side, so we're ready to go with 45.4 seconds. 55 48. Going to get one more shot. He shoots. Misses. Rebound south. Number 10. Gets the ball to Love. Love comes up the left side. Love dribbling out front. Don't have a lot of time. Throws the ball away. It'll be South ball. South ball tipped off of the Villarica hand. So South will get the ball here with 36.3 to go. Getting number five back in the game. Matthews comes in. Matthews in the game, number three, Williams to throw it in, throws it in to 24, Foster, Foster gets the ball to 10, 10 back to Matthews, Matthews to 24, who makes the basket, Foster makes the basket, 55, 50, 24 seconds to go, 20, 22, 
Fouls on number 23, Roberts, and number three will go to the line. That'll be uh, Miller with 18 seconds to go. South Paulding trails by five points. Miller is one for three. <coughs> Has Miller got just one point for the night? One for three, yes, sir, and he's one point for the night. All right, Miller's at the line. Hey, we got it. I got you right here, Jack. He's, Miller's got the ball hit. He's bouncing the ball. He's got a three times back spun on it. Then his legs, it's up in the air, and he misses the first shot. He's walked out to gain some confidence from his, from his coat, from his teammates. He's now back in here, step back up to the free throw line. Yes. So Miller's at the Thank line you. to shoot a second. <laughs> Miller's Miller. got the ball. He's bent knees, come back up. The ball's in the air, and he hits Makes the it. second one. He hits his second foul shot of the night, 56-50 with 18 seconds to go. South's got the ball over to number five, Matthew. Shorts of three, misses. Back to number 22. And there's a foul on number 24, Foster. 20 jumps over the line. Hughes. That's his first. Hughes is sitting at, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He is six for eight. So Hughes will be at the line. Three South Paul and people are back on the foul line, no Villarica players. Nine seconds to go. He hits the first, makes it 57. So they'll need need three possessions to win the game. They can't do that in nine seconds. So Sal Paulin will come out a loser tonight at the Villarica, it looks like. So he hits both, 58 to 50. Number three, Williams comes down court, nine seconds. He shoots a three. Misses, rebound, number three, Williams shoots another three, misses, and that's end of the game. The final score tonight here at South Paulden High School is the South Paulden Spartans 50, uh, 50 and the Villa Rica Wildcats 58. So they'll, they'll finish the season tomorrow night at uh, Rockmark. So, Mickey, you want to give the totals? All right, we'll come back down in here to... Uh... We'll get Villarica's first this time. We had, let's see, Miller, their chief ball handler, had two points. Mims with three. Law with, uh, that was eight. Rodney Hill with 12. Dorsey 11. McDaniel two. Bonds eight. Hughes with a, with 12 being the leading scorer for, scorer for Villarica. That was spread out, spread out wealth for Villarica. South Harden, uh, excuse me, South Harden Spartans. Comes in with uh, Love had seven, Jamal Williams two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. Hatchet had four, Matthews with five, Bateson eleven, Maxwell uh, Roberts with two, Foster with nine. Final score being fifty-eight to fifty. So we bring this, and as Jack told us a little earlier, well, South Park will be at Rock Mart tomorrow. Or here at Rock Mart, Jack? Yes. Okay, we'll be at Rock Mart tomorrow. Uh, again, this is 278 The Mix. Thank you for joining us tonight with Jack Jack Daniels, Mickey Skelton, and Randy Riggs. We appreciate it. Remember, again, we've got the sign-in day on February 6th, and we've got on February 15th and 16th, starting at 6. Doors open, 7, 7 p.m. game time for the Harlem Wizards Tricks Hoops Alley Hoops at East Paulding High School. Thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing you again.